And abortion is legal in Kentucky, at least for right now. The ongoing battle continues with state leaders working to overturn orders blocking a statewide ban on abortion. LEX 18's Evan Leak is live in the studio this morning. He joins us now with this update. Chris, Evie, if the Kentucky abortion bans are upheld, that would mean the only abortions allowed in the state are when a woman's life is at risk. No exceptions for rape or incest. It's a situation that's raising concerns for the doctors who would be performing these abortions. It's based around the fact that these bans would make it a judgment call for doctors on whether a woman's life truly is at risk. That's putting doctors at their own risk, potentially facing criminal charges based on their judgment. Despite these concerns, University of Kentucky law professor Paul Salamanca tells LEX 18 he believes the text of the ban protects a doctor's reasonable judgment, bringing up a legal tool called the rule of lenity, which works in favor of the defendant if there's ambiguity within the law. In this case, the defendants are the doctors. Any ambiguity about what physical condition means or what uh, threat to the, to the life means at least the argument would be there for attorneys to make that that ambiguity should be construed in favor of the physician. So, Chris, have you the next steps in this ongoing battle take place today with the hearing in Jefferson County this morning? And so abortion remains legal in Kentucky for now, but mm -hmm. how soon could we see any overturning of this the other way? Well, in terms of a timeline, I don't think we have exact timing of things, but there are things in the works of trying to repeal these, particularly coming from Attorney General Daniel Cameron, trying to get these repealed, these restraining orders repealed on banning abortion. However, an appeals court and the Supreme Court both denied denying that request. It's on the grounds of hearing an argument from Planned Parenthood and the ACLU that abortion protection is guaranteed under the state's constitutional rights to privacy. The way the statute's written, uh, if, if, a, if a physical condition is implicated and in the reasonable judgment of the physician, an abortion should be performed, it's excluded from the statute. Attorney General Cameron taking to Twitter yesterday saying the Supreme Court's continued delay on enforcing the Kentucky's Human Life Protection Act is, quote, disappointing. Evan Lake live in our studio this morning. Evan, thank you.